Hey everybody, it's Dipio. Welcome back to Subnautica. Once again, me and my wife Nelly are here. Hey everybody. And we have such exciting things to do. <laughs> we, sea moth! Sea moth, exactly. <laughs> um, we built the... We built the deployable um, mobile vehicle bay. Copper ore and titanium. Oh, that's all we need for... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Well, basic. We definitely gotta build one of those. Let's see, do I have copper in here? I have one. And one titanium. Perfect. Beacon. One beacon. We're going to build one beacon. Because the, the idea right at the moment is... Let's go ahead and find what we need for the sea moth. Build it. And go out and hit the beacon, the distress call. And then see if we can find the remains of the sunbeam. And if we go and find the sunbeam, we want to be able to mark it so that we can find it again. Seamoth Depth Module MK. Oh, I wonder if that... And that's for the Cyclops. I wonder if that is like an automatic upgrade kind of thing or what? I guess we'll I find know. out. What is next to the... That's a poster I found. Oh, that's the poster. Okay. Yeah, it's just a poster. <laughs> like... I'm hoping that... Put like, it on the walls of your... Yeah, yeah, like when we build up, we can slap a poster on the wall. <laughs> I think that's awesome. Yeah. And also prawn suit. Like, please tell me that's a thing later. That you can build. Or I can wear, like, this robotic shrimp suit or something. <laughs> Although when I hear prawn suit, I think of... Um, what was that movie? District 9? Oh, yuck, yuck, yuck. <laughs> Turned into a big cockroach or something. Oh, thing. I hate those. Okay, so... Oh, you give me the eebie-jeebies. <laughs> well, wait till we get in the dark, deep, dark depths. Yeah. You can have your heebie-jeebies. That's okay. okay. I'll be over it because it's not a it's not a roach. Like, oh, no, we're good. Okay, two glass, mm -hmm. one lead, one lubricant, one titanium ingot. Okay. You've let's got most see. of those things. Let's see. What of these things we have laying around? Here's one glass, um, but we can make another. It's just one quartz to make a glass, right? Uh, I think so. Um, Maybe it, two? No, it must be more. Two. two. Okay. That's easy enough. That's easy enough. Let's just get these components together. Um, we'll take another quartz, and we'll take a lead, because we needed one lead. One lead. All right. So does that mean that we can go into irradiated areas? I am it? I am assuming that is the, the gist behind that, um, because it would certainly make sense. You need lubricant um, lubricant, copper so wire. No, no, sorry. Titanium lubricant ingots. and titanium ingots. So we need 10 titanium to do that, correct? Yes, did you already use the ingot that you made? Um, I didn't thought you I? made an ingot, but I didn't. I don't know. I think I used it to build something else. Maybe the propulsion cannon? Uh, down, down. No. Didn't build that. Oh, propulsion, repulsion. I swear I used one. But what it was for, I don't know. I don't know. It's not. It's not really important. I yeah. just need. <laughs> I just need titanium. Okay, so let's see what we've got in here. Do you have room for ten titanium in here? Probably not. Um, need to drop off some batteries or something. Okay. Do you have any empty batteries? Uh, probably. Those are power cells. Zero. Got a few of those. Yeah. Right, stick that in there. Oh, in with Reggie. Good old Reginald. How's Reggie doing in there? He's doing fine. He's not rotten, Reggie. No. <laughs> they somehow survive in a box under the ocean. No food or anything. Uh, yeah, I know. It's funny. It's funny what we do to these poor little guys. Okay, let's see. Titanium. Give me titanium. Take three. Dump something in there. Put your poster and your... Yeah, poster can go in there. I don't really need to hold on to that right now. And my flare. And... A mostly empty fire extinguisher. Uh, oh, Hang on, there's one more there's titanium. There's one more titanium, yep, I recall. I don't recall. Alright, so we got four, so we need six more. Maybe we have it, maybe we don't. We'll find out in a minute. I'm gonna say we probably don't. Oh, I could be way wrong. Drink of water. Uh, we need water anyway. Just a little, but okay, so take enough to make those. a spot. And then let's go ahead and slip, let's slip a battery in there. We got power cells and batteries. 
Hang on. Go ahead and put more batteries in because you need still, what, two more titanium? Two more titanium, yeah. And look at there that. They are. Look at that. We had them in storage all ready to go and everything. All right. Ooh, I cannot wait. We got to get back down and get our mobile vehicle bay out of dock. But anyway. once you get these 10 titaniums down into one square, you'll have room for We're it. We're going to have plenty of room. Okay. Oh, and you know what we didn't get? Lubricant. Yep. Do you have any? Uh, no, I don't think I have any seeds. You guys get some seeds. That would not be difficult, though. Um, what's the closest place for these things to exist? There's a couple pretty close ones. I of course, I can't tell you which direction you need to go. I love seeing that moon. Look. Oh, they're still catching some. They're just, like, hanging out a little below the cliff edge. All right. Looking for creep vine. Anywhere we can find it. As soon as you hit the merc. What did you call those things? Stink manatees or something? Um, something like that. I can't remember what it was. <laughs> uh, Alright, we need... We need a knife. Let's go ahead and assign it to a quick slot, shall we? Do you need a knife? You don't need a knife Oh, to get... not for the seeds, just yep. for the creep vine. You're right. You're right. And we just need two. I believe. So... Take me home, country roads. We are gonna have us a party here in a minute. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, we should go ahead and get the mobile vehicle bay out since we cleared up all that space with the titanium. But you filled it back up with two giant seed pods. Oh, you're absolutely correct. Okay, okay. <laughs> we just. <laughs> Is he like. He does. He like lives to mock me. Yes. He is absolutely just mocking me. All right, nope. It's really, it's really uh, tetchy with the, um, the analog one. stick. Go ahead and make two lubricants and stick one in storage. Yeah, absolutely. I thought for sure everything else seems to be two to yeah. make a thing, but um, deployable. That, I think they were trying to make it easy on you because uh, it was in the beginning. And you had some. You were limited on your resources so they were All like here just use one everything of else is good we could probably stand have some more water and food here in a minute but we'll, we'll settle for a moment yeah you don't want to head out in your sea moth before you stock, stock up. up exactly oh nine by nine. Oh, this is going to be this is going to be some space i gotta make here um well, let's go ahead and pop some more some more batteries, batteries in there a battery Still not quite enough. What do I have? Yeah, no, that's nine. Three, that's six, nine. nine. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So, let's get on up here. And we would like to deploy this, please. Do I just drop it? Or do I have to put it in a slot? And I don't know. Try. Just... Worst case, you got to swim down to get it, right? No, you just assigned it. You just assigned it. Okay. Oh, See sunrise. My... Yes, the sun is awaking to greet us and our glorious sea moth. Sea moth is a fast, safe so this is... transport, but remember that swimming is good for your glutes <laughs> and endorphin levels. So for a split second, my dumb oh. blonde brain caught a one-man vehicle, but no, I want to go too. <laughs> <laughs> nope, you gotta hang on the back <laughs> and Welcome hold your aboard, boat. Captain. Captain. <laughs> Oh, this is so cool. Look, we have a thermometer in this thing. Mm -hmm. We've got power. Do we have, what do we have? Repair. Lights. That's probably how much. If you bang it on stuff. Yeah. If you crash or get attacked or. What are you laughing at? I can ram you with this thing. <laughs> it's so funny when I put this thing up your behind. All right, and then exit. Just yeah. easy to pop out. Oh, that's so cool. That is so stinking cool. Okay. Um, so you want to get some food and water. Sea Moth Depth Module MK1. I wonder... Let's go back up here. Can I, can I alter these things from this vehicle bay? Sea Moth. Cyclops. Um, maybe not. 
Maybe so, get in the seamoth and see if there's a way to like access my inventory from there. Yeah. I don't know. Oh. This is all new. I love how we get in this thing under the water without any water getting in. That's pretty <laughs> impressive. Um, enhances safe diving depth does not stack. How does that work? Let's see. No, data, no, data downloads might have something interesting to look at. Oh, oh that this was is a just thing. this is just about Altera. Yeah. Okay. Um, not that that's not interesting, but we have things to do. Um, I don't think there's anything else we need here. I think what we absolutely need to do is grab some salt and grab some fish. Um, both would be good, uh, or an extra helping of salt would be good because we can salt the fish, so, salt don't go the bad. fish so they don't go bad. So. So I know you don't want to go there, but I know that over by the crash site there was a ton of salt. By the crash? Oh, back where, <laughs> back <laughs> where, where Scary, Scary Man McGee is? is? Yes. Yeah, okay. Um, and let's see. And you could take the sea moth. I could. I'm gonna save it. I do kind of want to save it. I've still got my thing. We're just going to pick salt up. It shouldn't take too long. Um, we're not scouring and scouring, you know, for right. little things. So I think. I just know on all those like sand plains, there was lots of lots of salt. Yeah. And in the like red, uh, red grass areas, there's a decent amount of salt too. Okay. <laughs> Well, let's just keep our eyes out because we've just we've got salt. We've got there's some. there's some right off the bat. See, good job. <laughs> so um, we've got plenty of coral tube, I think, to make bleach. And if not, there oat oh, salt. Salt. Yep. Good eye. Good grief. Well, you're paying attention to your driving, and I'm just looking for salt. So I saw that one. Look at that. Ha -ha. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Good, good eye and good memory that there's this much salt over here. That is a beacon, beacon. fragment. Because um, yeah, it would be nice. I know that the I know that the salted food will dehydrate us. But, but if it, you've got enough water to counter that, it's not a big deal. Yeah, and, and it won't go bad. Which, if we're out a ways and deep, that's a real distinct possibility. Right, then you just gotta eat raw fish, which isn't as nutritious. Okay, we wanna be closer, closer to this, which we sure are getting there. More scrap. Lots of scrap, so that's, that's good. It's good to know. Because we're gonna need plenty of it later, I'm sure. We've been through here. Now you were saying as we get out onto the pure sand dunes. Look at those guys are out a little farther than they used to be. They like the, the scrap. Look, there's uh, um, I don't know what you call it. One of those boxes that might have a I thought Do this you use this map? The like I don't because I can hardly tell what is That's going what? on. It really is. It's a cool detail, but yeah. for me personally, it's a little difficult to try and use it on the fly. Yeah, I always turn it off, but I didn't know if you. That's good. That's a good point. Get away. Get away. I am not bugging you. You go eat your little fish. I got nothing to do with you, homeboy. There we go. Yeah, you're absolutely right. It's not necessary. I don't need it on. If it's burning extra juice, then... See, we're going to come out here, and it's going to be like no salt. Oh, no. here's one. It's just going to be next to the killer shark that wants to eat us right now. Just pick it up and keep walking. Yep, just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. <laughs> Can you tell we have young children? Maybe I'm just a Dory fan. Maybe you're just a dork? Yeah. Well, we know that. <laughs> that is predetermined. I think once you saw, here is a YouTube video of me playing games. <laughs> Dork was predisposed. All right, Let's take a big old breath. All right, back down. Salt. How much salt did we get? We got a little bit now. Two, 
before, not as much as I would have liked. Um, because uh, we're gonna need quite a bit, I think, for making There's that some. food. I can't wait till we find out um, what is required for those um, big uh, deposits of minerals. Yeah. How like, to like mine those. How we're gonna, it's gotta be like a vehicle attachment or something, like a drill. Because that would be really cool. Just hit one of those salt out outcrops and I'll take it. I'll take it right now. Is this salt? It's sitting uh, cockeyed. So yeah, it looked kind of like it. quartz. Quartz or something. Because it was horizontal. That is quartz. That is, is salt. salt. Okay. Not doing too bad here, and then we'll catch enough fish that we can eat some fresh before we head out. And then we just store the salt. What do you think? Sounds You're probably good. good? To me. Yeah. Head back. How many? Like eight, seven, eight. I think it's seven. Oh no, it's more than that. Well, nine. Nine. Nine's okay. perfect. Yeah, we're good. Nine is perfect. Let's boogie our way back home. Oh look, it shows where your sea moth is too. I know. That's awesome. Hello, beautiful. Hello, guys. We are going to leave you alone, like, all the time. I love that they travel in families. They kind of remind me of elephants. I want to see them, like, um, get attacked and go rage mode. <laughs> like, they're all peaceful, but then a shark bites them and they just go nuts. And, <laughs> like an elephant? Yeah. <laughs> Just lumbering along, minding their own business. Ooh, look at I skipped out of the water like a flying fish. <laughs> yeah, like Yeah, I, man, when I went to Africa, they were, like, way more worried about the elephants than they were about, like, lions and tigers. And well, because the lion is very specific about what it's doing. It's, it's going to capture enough to eat. That's it. An elephant that's, like, nervous or scared they is just going to run. Yeah, they destroy <laughs> entire villages. Like, like it's just rampage through. It is not a... You guys, I want a grab trap with a smaller tether radius. That's what I want. Turn your back to the grab trap, I think, and then yeah, like that. Follow the trail. Come on, gravity trap. Oh, they're all down here under the. They're trying to hide. All right, boomerang. Did it say inventory full? No, one more. Almost. I'll take a peeper. You got a peeper. You got a peeper. Peepers are more nutritious, apparently. Eyeballs are protein despite being mostly water. <laughs> well, eyeballs on Earth are mostly water. This is not Earth. That we know of. Big twist at the end. Big twist. We're gonna find the Statue of Liberty sunk at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> that peeper does not want to be caught. It will taste all the better. <laughs> it's like when you pass out from lack of oxygen from trying to catch this peeper. I told you I'd catch you. I told it. Let's get in here and cook you. All right. Salt him. So, we need to make some bleach, which we cannot do with what we have, but we can. In here, we will swap out more of these. Well, actually, we'll swap these out first, because don't, I don't know what is the deal with these yet. Do you want me to Google? Um, not, not, not now. Not while if we're we, playing. If we, if we really can't figure it out, then we may look it up. Um, but there's four... You've got four slots and there's four things. Yep. Should we make four bleaches? Um, you think four? I guess that would give us five. Five fish. Fish. Yeah. But four bleaches is going to make a ton of water, isn't it? You can always tuck some away. It's true. You can always use water. Or tuck the bleach away. True. Save it for next time. Right. Well, you know, extra water is probably a thing because we're getting ready to eat 
salted food. Right. So it's probably a good idea. Um, yeah, like you could already drink at least a bottle of water. Let's make one cooked peeper. And salt the rest. And salt the rest. Uh, one of each. And this will probably get us through. Yeah, because peepers are quite a bit. Yeah, they, I mean, they'll, they'll, oh, let's make the water. Because the water is really the more important thing. Because if we have to, we can just grab passing fish and, right. and chomp on them. Well, but in the worst water, case, you can always hop to an island and chop a bulbo tree. Yeah, I mean, absolute worst case scenario. Okay, we will... What does the cured peeper give you? Cured peeper is... 32, 32 health, but you lose a little salt. So you actually get a little more food intake, I think. I think they're 30 otherwise. 31. 31? Yep. Oh, 31. So. so the salt gives you one extra. Boom. And then we'll drink two there waters and we're off onto a good start. Okay, so let's store this. I don't think we're going to need that. Let's store the batteries. Keep the power cells. Um, keep the power cells. Keep, keep the tools. beacon. Keep the tools. Sea glide is probably still good to have. All right. Guys. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Let us go take a peek at this beacon. Oh, what a thing of beauty. <laughs> I love it. Let's enter through its butt. <laughs> Gross. Yeah, I, th I thought I would ruin the moment. <laughs> All right, let's see. Where's our beacon? It's over here. Whoa! You already heard it. I already heard it. I wonder if, like, popping out my repair. If you can use your repair tool. Uh huh. I love that. Um, where is the? Oh, there. Okay. Blue is my least favorite color for beacons. Like, I always make them a... Like a bright, crazy color? Red or orange, yeah. Something that stands out against the normal colors in the water. I love the, like... The sound effects in this game are so good. I love the little, like, mechanical whine of this. Oh my gosh, look at... It's a trench. Mm-hmm. Oh, that scares the crap out of me already. Is that where we need to go? I don't think so. It's definitely somewhere we can go. I was like, you, it just scares you that that is a thing. <laughs> I could be wrong, though. It could be where we need to go. No. Um, I'm betting it is, actually. Where'd the, where'd the signal go? It's down. It, but it's still 640 meters away and only 300 down. You think so, so? we're still, yeah, okay. keep, we still gotta go. But I'm wondering if it's down and out, like, I guess we'll find out. Oh, look at how scary this is getting already. I know. Do you have a light? Your light is on. That is your light. Yep. <laughs> Let's turn that off. Let's pop up real quick. I'm just curious. Man, I thought I bobbed up and down before. Are you strafing up or are you? Yeah, I am, but it's still. On the surface. And I think it's taking juice to do that, so. All right. Oh, man. I know, I'm like in a protective shell and I don't feel safe at all. <laughs> Not even a little bit. Well, and like, can you scan? Um. That's a good question. Look at I have passing 100 meters. Oxygen just get out. decreased. You just got out. I think I did. <laughs> Look, is that where you put your things? But, your mods? Well, that's what I was that's what I was wondering, but I don't know how to actually do that. Yeah. Um because there is clearly something there. But who knows, we may find more as we Warning. go. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. <sighs> No. 
We can't even go to this guy in the it's sea. It's three hundred. You need to go get that. You need to go get that depth extender. And figure I out how do. to put it on. Oh, what a booger! I wonder what kind of difference it makes. Like what? What? Is it a hundred? Yeah. Wow. Look at, and it's down to 21 degrees Celsius. Okay. For which my American brain goes, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> That's cold. No, like, it's not. Zero is freezing. Yeah, and a hundred is boiling. Which is like 300. So 25 would be like comfortable. Like 60 something degrees. I feel like, and all of our non-American viewers laugh at us. Anybody European or Canadian, <laughs> let me know. If, if Christopher Rod watches ours, <laughs> so I'm not a guy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, you know. Danny DeVito might watch for all you know. All right, let's see. What? Did someone just run into you? I think I bumped a fish. Ah! <laughs> I think I am. I think I'm running over fish. I wonder if you're leaving like carcasses in your wake. I am. This is a fish murdering machine. Can I grab it? Nope. Ah! <laughs> Why does that make me laugh? Because you're evil. <laughs> I guess so. That's hilarious. All right, so. Oh, you forgot to turn his lights off. Oh, do, do I have to do that? Okay, that's a good, that's a good thing to remember, because that might be... Run your battery down. ...important. Alright, so... Come on, Seamoth, my Honda Odyssey has uh, auto-off lights. <laughs> maybe, oh, well, it takes some time, so maybe it... Maybe, maybe, it, it maybe you just didn't wait long enough. Alright, let's see. Go up, It not it, upstairs? Yeah, look at that. There we go. It would make no sense for that not to work. Right, right. But, um, alright, let's pop in here. You're right, that really seems like that is where this little environment thing should go. I didn't see what it- wait, grab the other one too. No, that's for the Cyclops. Oh, was it? Yep. We're not there yet. No. Alright, let's get back in here. We're not going to be deterred. Alright, where are you? Can you like see it's just select it? No, that's the thing. Hmm. You can't do anything with it. Um, hmm. I'm not. I'm not sure why. Can I? This is dumb. Well, it might not actually be dumb, but Oops, sorry. Where's our deployed vehicle bay? Okay, I don't want to bang it. I just want to get near it. Okay. All right, use vehicle bay. Vehicles. Seema. All right. No. How? How is that gonna work? Did you see pack it up? That is to pack the mobile the vehicle, vehicle there. Okay. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Can okay. you do it here? Like, because these things are whirring around you, I... and you select... As soon as I open this up, it's treating me as the person Right. Not as the ship. Um, I wonder if there's something on the sea moth itself. Doesn't appear to be. Uh, would it be in our blueprints? I really don't know. Bleeder. Oh, we saw this before. Assessment. Inconvenient and unhygienic. Avoid or incapacitate the bleeder. The little sucker thing mm -hmm. that bit me. Um, I could have told you that. 
and see regress shell. Okay, interesting. All right, sea moth. Reveal your secrets to me. How do I put this mod on you? Depth module mark one. I hope I don't have to like have a bay or something like an actual facility to make that work. I don't know. But that's going to be kind of crucial in figuring that out. Let's go back up in here for the moment. Let's take a look at what I can take a kit. Oh, use repair tool. Look, I broke this when I bumped into the ship. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, ship. I didn't mean to do it. Alright, so we are looking at what possibly. I've got all of this. We're still looking for the laser cutter. Equipment. All I need is titanium for a fire extinguisher. I don't think you know how fire extinguishers work. Compass. Oh, wait, no, I have a compass. It's thermometer we're looking at. I could make a purple tablet, which I don't need. Sustenance we're good on. Basic materials. Check the left side of your sea moth. Check the left side of the sea moth. So there might be like a panel a or something. A panel. Well, let's take a look. Take a look, because we know that there's something to do. It's just the how to do it. That's enter sea moth. That's enter sea moth. It's all enter sea. Oh, access upgrades. Holy Moses! I would have never found that in no. like a million years. So I, yeah, we looked it up, but <laughs> it had to happen. It really did. Okay, let's get back in here. Welcome aboard, Captain. So what... Oh, yep, look. We can get to 300. Yep. Exactly. All right. So we have to hope that this is 300 and less. Yep, because if like, we go... Like, can you jump out at 300? Or is that going to crush you? I don't know. If it starts crushing the whole of the ship, right. I cannot fathom that it's not going to crush me. Right. So we are going to find out But how are you going to do anything? Pick up anything or... Don't know. I don't know. <laughs> let's see. We are going to find out. We got plenty of power. Y'all, this is all experimental. I fixed the hole. That's what happens when you go for a blind playthrough. <laughs> we are going to... Yeah, I mean, that was just one tiny spot where that, that interaction occurred. Yeah. I don't think I would have found that. I think no. I would have missed it a hundred times seeing Inter -Sea Moth. Screw you, whatever you made that noise, we're not coming to talk to you. We're going down into the scariest parts of the ocean. Look, it shows you how far away from your base you are. You've gone 85, 90 meters. That's from my base? I'm pretty sure. No, maybe that's... Is it depth? It's that's depth. depth, yeah. Okay, just yep. kidding. And now I see that the number on the right is... I didn't notice that before. Maximum. I saw the 200. I did not know that was a max... Yeah depth uh, ratio we can, we can hit. Alright, here we go. This is where it started getting hairy. Does... Does the sea moth... <laughs> what did I bang? I re there's nothing above me. I must have, Big fish? I must have just clipped the bottom of one of those pillars. Um, does it control like the... It, it just swims. It, yeah, just, it controls just, like swimming. It's just moving around. Nothing special about it at all. So 200. And look at all this stuff. Like, should I get out? Do you have your rebreather? Should I test it? I can put it on. Because you're definitely going to want that here. But I, this was crushing my hull. Right? So do we test this? Diversity in this region is unusually low. 
Because there's stuff to scan. Yeah. Let's get out and see what happens. No, it's not killing us. That makes no sense, but we are going to go with it. Yeah. Prawn, Prawn suit, suit torpedo, torpedo arm. <laughs> That's fun. That is, I would, I mean, you can't get better than, hey, I was just talking about thermal plant fragment. Yep. I don't have a, a clue as to why the depth isn't crushing me like it was crushing the ship. But again, I don't care. And when you need oxygen, you just get back in I it. I get back in the ship. You don't have to go up. Nope. This is awesome. For awesome sake. All right, let's see. What else you got floating around here for me? Moon pool. Ah. We had a part of that, so this might be it. Acquired. So that is probably unnecessary. Yeah. Normal plant, we got that, right? I think so. I don't want to be too long. Moon pool is built. Thermal plant is built. Yes, don't need either one of those things. Um, question will be, is anything going to come sniffing at me? <laughs> it said biodiversity was low. It did not say There was life. no life. <laughs> Was low. Okay. Yeah, the reason it's low could be that uh, there's something scary around here. <laughs> could be. Biodiversity is low because is somebody Is there an keeps... entrance into this? I don't see one yet, but that means nothing. We're going to hop in and refill our oxygen. This is so cool. <laughs> this is so cool. Who would have thought that this would be a thing? Check like above too. Oh no! Here it is. Command chair. You definitely need a command chair. Yep, I need multiple kinds of chairs. You've got a swivel chair, but you don't have a command chair. I'm still, I'm still scavenging for food, but I need multiple chairs. Up oh, sealed door. We gotta find that laser cutter, man. That laser cutter is is holding us back. All right, we're gonna go up here. I hear you, but you sound like a friendly giant. Yeah, yeah. You don't so that's sound, not a scary sound. You don't sound scary. So we're not going to worry about you right now. All right, nothing in there. Sealed, need a cutter. Okay. Cutter, cutter, who's got the cutter? <laughs> All right. Get back in the moth. We still got another 100 meters down to go. Yep. This is, this is so cool. All right, where is our beacon? There. Probably need to go down. That sounds ominous. Okay. Yeah, go down. I don't see a way down. I do see these things. The weird, interesting new things. Scanner. Ruby. Is that pressure? Tiger. Or? Tiger plant mixed in with oh, whatever that little is. Little punk. Yep. Nice. Ah, just pick up a ruby. Okay. Yeah, grab some rubies, man. It's a free for all. I get a ruby. You get a ruby. We all get a ruby. Get out of here before this thing starts hitting at us again. All right, so, um, don't believe there's anywhere to go but up here. Thread the needle. <laughs> All right. Oh, that felt like every sci-fi movie ever. We are in every sci-fi movie ever. It's true. Okay. So I think don't go down, like go over this hill and then go down. Um, we're going to try that. I still am like mildly blown away at the fact that we can get out of this at these crushing depths. Yeah. There it is. Okay. So there's a tiger there. Just 
tiger? Oh, the plant, the yeah. plant. I was thinking the shark for a, a shark. second. No. Okay. That little spitting plant. PDA. PDA, we'll take it. We'll listen to that in just a moment. PDA data. Take that. Ultra high capacity tank. Ooh. Acquired. I'll take that too. What do you Another got PDA. Where? Glowing. Oh, there we Signal go. location uploaded to PDA. Okay. Yeah, we keep Integrate calling these like PDA data. We keep calling these like um, rescue missions or or whatever, but they're not. No. It is purely scavenger work at this point. Look at this. You should this. get your scanner out and see if any Look of these guys are this. new. Oh! Ah. That. <laughs> oh, bleeder! Get off me! Get off me! Get off! 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 Get off. <laughs> little priggly, little nasty thing. Okay. Well, while we can breathe, let's take a gander at our. Did you die running into my ship? <laughs> Where's my good old? <laughs> <laughs> They are, they are they're running attacking the ship. You. Screw you guys. Try and bleed this ship. See what um, it gets you. Don't forget to eat and drink also. Yes. Yes. Geological data, Ruby, we found that. Essential for advanced fabrication. Yeah, we've um, seen. Alright, Aurora Survivors. 19 Officer Keen's crew log. To all crew, if you're reading this and you have followed the automatic distress signal broadcast by this life pod's onboard computer, contrary to my orders, I have been forced to evacuate. <laughs> your, your orders are to disregard my safety and attempt to reach the designated rendezvous coordinates at the nearest landmass. I hope to see you there. And a voice log, so you can play this one. Keen, this is Aurora. Come in. This is Keen. Light pod detached to a cave planet fall in 30 seconds. The computer has identified a landmass at the attached coordinates. I want you to regroup the crew there. Understood, but they are your responsibility now. Don't let them down. Captain, you need to evacuate. Negative. You'll need the ship in one piece if you're going to contact HQ on the long range. I'm attempting a controlled descent. Man, this whole thing was a big mess. <laughs> yeah, this this whole trip did not go as planned. I'm just trying to clear these out because it's all stuff we've seen. Yeah. And it kind of bothers me to have that <laughs> notifications. You're one of those people. Well, it makes me think that I should be looking at it. Yeah. And it's not. It's, it's a waste not. of my time. Yeah. So we'll just clear it out. No. Those dumb bleeders are really gonna just keep banging on the on the ship. I'm teasing you. I'm one of those people too. All right. So let's see. Uh, command chair is our new thing, and we found something else. What did we find? Uh, ultra, ultra high, high capacity tank. What is what's required for that? The O2 and lithium. Lithium. We got lithium. Yeah. We got lithium. Woo no problems there. All right, eat and drink. Have time to time to pop a peeper. There we go. A couple of waters. Oops. Oops. Yeah, it doesn't hurt. And get back in, there's bleeders out here. <laughs> welcome aboard, Captain. Turn the light on. Alright, welcome aboard, Captain. Let's get the heck out of here. Is that probably the way? Yeah. Okay. So, so now, but he gave us coordinates for that landmass. Do wait, we want to go check out what the landmass was? I want to see what that was. Something was glowing there. That's a um. Oh, it's a reef back. Yeah. Okay. I can never remember their names. I am so in love with this machine right now. Like <laughs> it totally is changing the game. Like, it's a game changer. <laughs> in every conceivable way. Okay. So what are you doing? I. Uh, You're well, going back. He didn't okay. actually give us coordinates, did he? It should have. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay, life pod. Aurora rendezvous point, off. dry land. Oh, okay. Um, so we can turn this off, and this stays on. 
and this is still taking me over the board. <laughs> Just trying to back out of the menu, that's all I'm trying to do. Alright, well then... Okay, okay, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. We got it. This is so cool! I'm staying up top. I see no need to be down deep right now. Oh, I'm all like, yeah, go down deep, see what's down there. Not at night. I can't see anything. Turn your lights on. I got my lights on. That's the lights oh, on. It's, wow. Like, it's dark no matter what, but, uh... What? Whoa. What? You thought the last island was interesting. Look, this <gasps> one's held up by... Oh, one of those floaters. Giga floater. Oh, my goodness. Is that still an ancient floater, or is that a whole new thing? I think this is a frigging ancient floater. <laughs> No, it's, no an it's an ancient. Oh Look at my this. goodness. Oh it's my Christmas goodness. tree. Christmas tree stuff. No, but it's not anything we can scan. Oh, this wow. is this is so bloody cool. Is this just that coral? What? Is it falling off the chunks falling off? I mean I guess. Look at so. the look at the scale. Look at our sea moth and how big <laughs> this is. This game just absolutely proceeds to blow me away at every turn. And for anybody who's not aware, um, this game costs twenty five dollars. This is well worth. $25. This is this is so worth your time and money. If you haven't, if you haven't um, picked it up and you've watched this far. Dude, pick it up. <laughs> it's so fun. <laughs> Don't stop watching. Forget what she said. But definitely, definitely pick it up. I mean, it is incredible. Multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. Look at that. That's so cool. As long as they're not, like, dangerous. I'm not going to attack us. They're cool. <laughs> oh. Can you take a screenshot? Yes. That's one you want That's to. That's a screenshot. <laughs> Not random pictures of the blackest ocean. This is so stinking cool. Oh, look, I found where the red fern grows. Oh, no. So sad. And this goes out. Oh, look. No, this goes in. Oh, so pretty. This is just... This is jaw-dropping, like, every time we play it. Something new comes up that just absolutely blows you away. All right, baby. It is probably a long episode. This is probably a long episode. We should probably just call it here Let and us... explore this island. Yeah, let's get to a place where I feel like we're we're kind of okay. Um, I saw you. Is it this? Voxel shrub. And these big glowing trees behind us. Yeah, which you would have thought, but they no, don't that's stand. A that's... Oh, yeah. are they... This is a bulbo, bulbo tree. This is a big glowing tree. Oh. It doesn't care what the big glowing tree is. What? Don't think I won't hit it with a knife. But, yeah. But, uh... Until okay. It hits you back. <laughs> and the rendezvous point is uh, 92 meters from there. But soak this in. Soak oh, this, this beautiful too. scenery in, and we will see Turn this place. sunrise. Where's the sunrise? Turn around. Oh my goodness, look at that. <laughs> let's get that let's get that, that off the screen. Oh we can't get it off the screen. Oh well. You can, but I don't remember what look, the Look, there's are. the Aurora. Yeah. Yeah. Another one of those things where like how did we not see this from here? But okay. We'll run we'll roll with it. Yeah. We'll roll with it. Well the Aurora's pretty huge. And we keep saying we're gonna stop, but what is this? <laughs> Ming Ming plant. plant. Okay. Well, let's just appreciate this pretty site right here, and we will come back next time, check out what the, the codex entries on, are on these plants, and we'll, we'll look around this island a little bit more. I love this game. <laughs> I love this game. Nelly, do you love this game? I love this game, All and right. I love you guys. Love you too. <laughs> but in a platonic, you know, don't call me kind of way. So. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Okay, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, please check us out next time. All right? Talk bye, -bye. to you later.